Hey guys, I'm gonna go over this goal worksheet with you. Now you must have the discipline to turn the video off, pause it, and write down your answers. You need this printed out while we're going over it, and you gotta have the discipline to, to write down your answers. Take some time to think about it. You need a good 15 minutes to do this. If this is taking you less than five minutes, you're not doing it correctly, and you're missing a huge uh, step in, in your success, and your success in the program. So I wanna make sure you get the most out of it, but it's gotta start right here right now. So have the discipline to turn this off, print this out, write down these things, take some time on you, take some time to figure out what is what you want. Because if you don't know what you want, you're not going to get there. It's like a GPS, right? You, if you just kind of plug in, you know, Birmingham on the GPS, it could take you anywhere in Birmingham versus a, a direct path on where exactly you want to go. So what are your goals? Turn this video off in just a second and write down, you know, five to 10 things that, that you would like to accomplish in the next four weeks. What do you want to do? What, what do you want the before, what do you want to be different between you right now and you in four weeks? What's going to be different? How are you going to feel? What would you like to be able to do differently? You know, whether, whether it's physical or, um, you know, uh, physical ability, something like that. Write down all your goals. Stop this video, write down your goals. Stop this video, write down your goals. Yes, I said stop it. Stop the video, write down your goals. All right, so hopefully you wrote down those and we're back. Now you want to write down what are your standards, your must-haves out of those goals up there. Because a lot of people write down goals, and let's face it, I probably, you know, you may not be able to get to all those goals. How many times have you made a goal or a New Year's res revolu resolution and, you know, you didn't get there, right? A lot of people have. Pretty much everybody has done that, right? And it's because goals are these lofty ideas and we kind of have them like, hey, I know I should get there, but if I don't, it's no big deal. But your standard, guys, is your standards are, you know, pretty much concrete. You probably live at your standards right now. You get pretty close. But if you raise your standards, those are your must-haves. That's where I want you to get to. What, what out of that goal list is a standard for you? Is it something that you have to get there no matter what? In other words, you are going to get to this point no matter what. So let's say you had on your goal list, you had a couple different things. I want to run a mile without stopping. I want to be able to do one pull-up. Uh, and I want to be able to go to the beach uh, and take my shirt off and be comfortable and not have to worry about, you know, who's looking at me and stuff like that. Well, let's say that those other two, you know, it, we may get you to those, but the biggest one for you is going to, the, you know, being at the beach and being comfortable. Well, that's your must have. In other words, you are not going to stop until you get there. Those other things are great to have, but that is your number one focus that you're going to focus on. So yours may be different than that. You may really want to be able to do the one pull-up. I don't know, but write down your goals and write down what it is that you must have that you're not going to quit. You're going to be dedicated no matter what comes in your way. Nothing is going to stop you to get to that point. So that's your must have. All right, so why is that important to you? So think about somebody, think about two people that's quit smoking before. So you have one person that, uh, that just said, hey, I'm not going to do this anymore, and they quit. You probably know somebody that's like that. And you have the other person that man, it seems like they're always trying the next thing to quit, but they're still doing it or they still have relapses on it. What is the difference in between those people? They had a really big reason why. Whatever reason that why they had was so important to them, it didn't even matter anymore. They just boom, right there. And I'm sure there's some things in your life that you've done like that before too, where you said, hey, I don't care how it happens. I'm going to make this happen. And if you set a standard and you write down why that reason is important to you, and there is a strong enough emotional connection, you guys, you're going to get to whatever it is you're looking for no matter what, right? So I want to make sure you write down why is that important to you. I want to look cute is not a good answer, guys. It's got to be seriously a deep level to you. Everybody's answer should be different there. All right, and then, uh, so stop the video. Take the time to do those questions. What are your rituals? So you can think a successful person probably has different rituals than an unsuccessful person. So a successful person, they probably wake up early in the morning. You know, they probably uh, read at night versus an unsuccessful person. They probably hit their snooze button several times. Or they probably play video games instead of reading and learning new information. So what rituals do you need to get to that standard? Maybe it's you need to prep your foods, you know, uh, at a certain time period. Maybe it's that uh, you need to make sure that you you know, you know have kids in the evening. So if you don't get your workout in the morning, you know it's not going to happen. But also, you're not a morning person. So you, maybe you set your alarm uh, way, you know, a long ways away from you so you have to physically get up to get it, right? What rituals are you going to implement to get to that level? And then down here, we're going to write down what rituals are holding you back. You know, every time you pour the kid's cereal, are you snacking on the, you know, grabbing handfuls of the cereal? You know, what are you going to do to change that? Maybe you get the kids to start pouring their own cereal. I don't know. 
you know, what are what rituals, what things are you doing right now? Already back? Is there something that you're eating late at night, uh, like you know, uh, popcorn or ice cream or something like that? What are you going to do to change that? Well, I'm going to replace that with a protein shake. So I'm just giving you some ideas of how you can make uh, make this happen for you and get the most out of it. And guys, the number one thing that you have to ask yourself, we are constantly asking ourselves questions, whether you know it or not. You're asking yourself a question all the time. So what question in this program are you going to continually, continuously ask yourself? So for instance, let's say that you want to become fit. All you really have to do, it, you know how to become fit. You know that you know fried chicken is better than, or grilled chicken is better than fried chicken, right? So you know, all you have to do is ask yourself, you know, act as if you are a fit person. So, say, you know, when you're out to eat at a restaurant or whatever, say, what would a fit person do? You know what a fit person do. They would order the better option. And you can probably figure out what the better option is pretty easily. So constantly ask yourself that, you know, you have to come up with your own question here, but ask yourself, what would a fit person do? Or what would a person with abs do? Or what would a person you know, that, uh, that's committed to, I don't know what that question is for you, but, you know, ask your, continuously find a question that you're going to ask yourself. That's going to kind of get everything in there. You know, it's, it's always going to direct you in the right path. So an easy one is, Hey, what would a fit person do? And then you already, you already know the answer to that. It's very simple. So then all you gotta do is actually do it. Right. So yes, that's the goal setting workshop or worksheet. Turn that in at Squad Fitness, and uh, we will see you soon and help you hit that standard, get to that new level.